Hi everyone, it's Lisa. I hope you had a new, great new year. Um, we're out of our um, holiday crafts for the most part. You can still make holiday crafts, we know that, but we're kind of venturing off in just some winter crafts, um, some fun things for your home. And today what I'm making is a rustic, it's very rustic, um, paint stirrer star. So um, you should have no problem doing this. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to give you a list of supplies and uh, then we'll get started. There is a kit available for this. It will contain enough paint stirrers for you to do two stars and some of the twine to help you wrap it in. Now this one is far from perfect. I do like it. I do like that it's rustic. Um, so we'll, I'm going to put this one to the side and let's look at the supplies that we're going to need. You're going to need five paint stirrers and I have painted these, or actually I have stained these uh, just a little bit. You can see on the flip side there's a big difference. It might not appear that way but it does uh, offer a stained look to it. You're also going to need some twine and you'll have this in your kit as well. You're going to need your glue gun and if you're going to paint it, um, you can do it in several ways. You could spray paint it. I chose to use a foam brush and this black chalk paint. So whatever you choose is fine or none at all. I tend to think that these would be really cute on a grapevine wreath and maybe do one in red white and blue. Rough those up just a little bit. So you'll notice on this one I've sandpapered the edges of it to make it a little bit more rustic, but these would be great around the 4th of July, or these would just look good hanging on the wall if you had several of them clustered together. So let's go ahead and get started. I have pre-stained these, and it's relatively easy. Um, I'm going to start, actually I'm going to start this way. And I want to lay it out so that I'm getting um, the design that I want. I'm going to turn that around a little bit. I think it's a little bit more easy. Now you can Google this and it's going to give you the direction in which you should place your paint stirs. And it's a matter of adjusting them. And then we glue them. And then we're going to wrap off the ends of it. And it'll take me just a minute to get this to exactly where I want it. And I think right there is where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply glue. Now, I will tell you that if you're going to, if this is going to be in heat, in other words, if it's going to be on the front door and you're going to have sun shining in on it, then you might want to use E6000. I would intend to use these on the inside so the glue plus the twine that will hold it in place. But if you're going to have them outside, if you're going to have them in the sun or in moisture, anything like that, I would use the glue gun in cooperation with E6000 or a Gorilla Glue, one that's a little bit more substantial. I'm just going to hold them in place just a little bit at a time. I'm putting a generous amount of glue here. As a matter of fact, my glue gun heats up so quickly, these little ones do, that I'm going to put another glue stick in. These do not have to be perfect. Remember, they are rustic.
I hope everyone had a nice um, New Year's. I know we celebrated a little bit differently this year. Um, But that does not mean we couldn't have had a good New Year. <laughs> I think I got all my pieces together here. Remember, this is meant to be rustic, so it's not going to be perfect. But I've got all my pieces together here. And this is not going to come apart again unless you are going to be using it in a heated area. Again, use the E6000 if you need to. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors. And I wrapped mine around four times. So I'm going to start on the back. I'm going to finish on the back. I have this little stick here that helps me kind of keep that in place. only went three times. Well, we're going to go three times then. And you're just going to go around to each of your points. And I'm going to do three times on each of them since I started with three. We're going to be doing some wonderful crafts in January and February and March. Well, we'll continue to do all kinds of crafts. I am not doing this correctly. <laughs> I've only got two there. Let me go ahead and put another one on there. I do want to make it equal. Let's do one more. There we go. There's our three. Three and three. Let's finish up the rest of them. I hope you enjoyed our holiday crafts. Let me make sure that is three. Yes, three on the front, as you can tell. I have had several people posting some of the crafts that they're making. Um, I love that. I love to see that you're actually making some of the ones that you see. Two more.
trim this one up. And we've got one more here. Now these will hang really easily by themselves. But um, if you need a hanger, you could easily take one of your extra pieces and use it as a loop for the very top. This one's a little bit more difficult. I'm holding that in place right now and letting that dry on the end there, or cool, I should say. There we go. A little bit more glue. There are ways of making these using two times the amount of paint stirs and that allows you to have a much bigger star. So if you wanted to put this on the outside of your home, um, on a porch, that kind of thing. Remember we discussed the heat. We might need to use E6000. And there is our very rustic star. Put just a little bit of glue right there. And there we go. There's, let me move our supplies over. There's our black one, which I prefer. And here is our stained one. And there you go. Again, however you choose to do this is going to be up to you. Feel free to stain them. Feel free to paint them. Uh, feel free to make them larger. You will have enough paint sticks in your kit to actually make two of these or one large one. So consider, look them up, Google them, uh, see how you'd like to construct yours, um, and then have fun with this project. Something simple, something easy, something rustic. Um, I hope you are uh, making some of our crafts at home. Like others, if you'll post them, we appreciate that, knowing that you're using our kits that we're making. And uh, keep crafting.